Hi, this is Jim Brickle from Edler and Ford, and this is getting to know your 2021 F-150 Lariat. Canada's best-selling vehicle was redesigned for 2021, and Ford has incorporated a lot of fantastic features in this truck. This particular one is a Lariat with the 502A package. At the back end of the truck, your key fob can open the tailgate for you. Inside the tailgate on your left, you've got a power point so you can plug in your tools or whatever you might be needing. Maybe it's your campsite and you also have LED lighting in the box. Tailgate back up. You've got your hitch down below. You've got a lock on your spare tire and your wiring for your trailers. Up top, we have a rear view camera right in the center of the vehicle so it is overlooking the hitch in case you're towing. And it does have the reverse sensors on the vehicle. Fuel doors on the driver's side. It is our easy fuel, no gas cap required. And with the intelligent access, touch the door handle on the inside, it unlocks the door. Both of the front seats get power adjustable seats. So you've got a lumbar in and out, change the angle of recline, forward, back, up, down, tilt, move the chair around wherever you need it to be. Then over on the driver door, you've got your locking in positions for your memory seats, so one, two, and three. As you push and hold, I would lock in the position for the driver's seat. Your mirrors, you can fold them in. You can pick which mirror you want and then adjust as you need them. On the left hand side as you're getting into the truck, we have our tailgate release, we have our headlamps, and here is the automatic setting which most people will use. Goes on when it gets dark out, shuts off when you shut off the engine. This one here will move your pedals in and out to adjust the length of your legs and customize your driving position. And this truck does come with some spotlights on the outside of the mirrors, so that's to turn those on and off. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, you have your power, tilt, and telescopic steering wheel. So you can move it to customize where you're going to be most comfortable in this vehicle. Now as I get in, it does have the push button start. So foot on the brake. So as long as the key fob is on your person, it's ready to go. Okay, from the driver's seat, we do have a lot of controls and they are at your fingertips. So on the left hand side of the steering column, we have our volume up and down for your radio. We have our voice control. And then we have our adaptive cruise control. And once you've got it in adaptive, this one here will show how many car lengths or truck lengths behind a vehicle. So as you hit it, it has you driving closer to the vehicle in front of you. The one below that is your lane keeping system. So that would turn it on and off and allow the vehicle to help you maintain your stay within your lanes and then of course uh, set plus and set minus so while you've got the cruise control on if you want to increase your speed by a mile per hour it would be set plus decrease it by a mile per hour it would be set minus and then of course you can cancel out your uh, cruise control then on the right hand side of the steering wheel we have our menu and this will control what is showing for the driver. Under the heading of my view, you can pick and choose what information is being shown. A comm screen, this gives you a picture of a Ford truck and 
just nice and calm. As you hit the down screen, you've got your fuel economy. Uh, trip one, you can do two different trips. You can uh, reset for um, the distance. Right now it's showing a full tank of gas and DTE. That would be distance to empty of 921 kilometers. I can actually let you know how many people are wearing a seat belt, and right now that would be zero. There's only myself in the vehicle, and we are in a stationary position. But it does uh, remind you to check for people in the back seat as they're getting out of the vehicle. Then you can press OK to add what you want to your um, personalized screen. So I've got it set up right now with the comm screen, the fuel economy, and trip one. But as we go down with the arrows, we can also get into showing the tire pressure, not indicate whether the seat belts are on and off, your off-road, your power distribution. So it's all about you choosing what's important to you. We hit OK on power distribution. We go back. And now we can see our fuel economy, the trip one. Now it goes to power distribution, and I no longer have the seat belts indicated. So it's all a matter of your personal taste and what's going to be displayed. Now, down here, we have our seek to the next preset station while the radio is on. And we also have answering and hanging up on a phone call. As we go back to the left, it was our voice control. So you can control a lot of things in this vehicle. A destination for navigation, your uh, stereo. Find a place. Say the address that you're looking for, like 125 Main Street, New York. Ed Learn Ford. Starting route to Ed Learn Ford Lincoln, 2017. Obey traffic laws, be alert and use voice commands while driving. Please proceed to the highlighted road. So this tells us some good information. It shows where we are right now, which is actually in the parking lot of Ed Learn Ford. The checkered flag is the finishing spot, which is what the computer is recognizing as the distance and the your finishing point. It should take us about a minute to get there and it's 160 meters away from here. Now we can go back over here. Cancel route. Canceling route. If you wanted to type in a destination, you can hit search. And then So by typing in Ed Learn, it figured out that I wanted to go to the gas station or to the dealership. Now, while the menu is up here, or sorry, the, the map is up here. If you hit the, the four arrows, that brings up the full map. And when you hit it, you can have more information on the side. So right now there's no paired phone. If you hit add phone, search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. So you would take your cell phone, you would get into your settings, go to Bluetooth, and then um, you would complete the pairing process following what's uh, on the screen here and what's on the screen of your phone. Other choices. We've got phone, audio, eco behavior, trips. So you can have a variety of information displayed. It's all a matter of what's important to you. When we go down on the bottom, audio, it's got sources, AM, FM, Sirius, Bluetooth, audio. 
you do get a trial subscription for Sirius Satellite Radio. And actually with the audio on, your presets go across the bottom. When you find a station that you like, if you did want to lock it in, you would push one of the buttons. When it beeps, your preset is now saved. Now, some other neat things on this truck. It does have a dual zone temperature control, so each side can be at a different temperature. So that one could be at 22, while the other's at 19. It's completely up to you. If you want the heated seats on, go ahead. And the other person could have the cooling seats on. So if someone's hot and someone's cold, they can both be accommodated in this truck. In the winter time, a nice heated steering wheel allows you to drive the truck without any gloves on. Makes it a very enjoyable ride and your hands stay nice and warm. This one here slides open. You can see we've got some charging points in there. There's also a holder for a cell phone. And then just push it and it will close in. And I thought this was kind of neat down here. You can push this button and your shifter goes down and out of the way. Drink holders, well storage compartment. Another three prong outlet, 12 volt power point. And up here you've got a little button which opens the upper glove box. Now, this truck is also equipped with the power sliding rear window and the twin panel moonroof. Your controls are in the center of the vehicle up above the rear view mirror. So here's your mirror. Hit the arrow the other way to close it. And then we do have the screen. So I hope you found this informative. Hope you'll enjoy your new truck. My name is Jim Brickle, work at Edler and Ford. Please let me know if you have any questions, any concerns, and enjoy your new vehicle.